Hey guys, uh, good evening. Uh, we have uh, Dr. Rajesh with us uh, today, joining us from uh, Navi Mumbai. So a quick introduction about Rajesh. Uh, you know, he's a knee and hip joint replacement surgeon and an orthopedic surgeon from Navi Mumbai. So he's joining us today and he's, uh, you know, thanks to him that he's taken some time out and, uh, you know, joined us for this particular session. So he's a very passionate doctor and I'll tell you a couple of things which I really liked about him, uh, which really impressed and, you know, uh, we requested him to be part of this particular show. So apart from being a doctor, uh, he's also a singer. He sings really well. And uh, he is one doctor who feels that the doctors go through a lot of stress at work uh, and the team around, which includes the nurses and the support team. So uh, he takes time out to uh, sing a bit to make it easy for uh, the rest of the team. And uh, he loves listening to the music. And apart from this, uh, he loves traveling to other countries and, you know, uh, all the places around. Uh, there are a couple of videos I've seen where he's uh, going around to uh, remote locations where there are lakes and, you know, seeing the birds around. So a couple of YouTube videos he's shared, including how he inspires others with uh, his passion for singing. So it's an honor here uh, to be, uh, when it's an honor to have you here, uh, Rajesh. And uh, I really admire the way you're doing these special surgeries and unique things, uh, unique surgeries, which are not, you know, not common. Uh, so friends, we have uh, Dr. Rajesh who has done these hip replacements or knee replacement uh, surgeries for uh, a 59 year old twin. So I have a couple of uh, photographs, you know, this is one photograph where, uh, you know, these are twins, 59 year old sisters, twin sisters, and, uh, you know, who have been transformed by uh, Dr. Rajesh, uh, you know, into somebody who can walk normally, look normally after the surgery. And uh, like this is another, uh, he's done another surgery, which is very unique, which is uh, done for a young, uh, you know, uh, the youngest, I think, operated uh, hip knee, uh, replacement surgery. So, yeah, uh, this, is, this is what I am aware of it. There might be a lot of other secrets, uh, you know, with you. So, thanks for joining Rajesh. So, please, uh, thank you. maybe thank you. Thank you, thank you, Ravi, for inviting me to this show today. And uh, uh, yes, I'm like any as a surgeon, as a doctor, uh, as you are aware, like we are all, always like uh, 24 by 7. We are always available. I'm like for the emergencies, trauma, road traffic accidents, and a lot of stuff. So uh, you can say yes. In between, whenever we get time in the hospital or maybe uh, in the operation theater, but yes, we do like to listen music. And uh, so this hobby actually has came. I would like to tell uh, my friends and the, everyone here that mm. usually when we operate in the operation theater, many mm. times just to relax ourselves and just to uh, elevate the mood of the staff and just to make them relax, we just say keep playing songs inside the operation theater also sometimes. And, uh, you know, maybe light music, sometimes maybe uh, uh, some of the tracks actually. And uh, mm. yes, yeah, so from there, actually, uh, I have developed this passion for singing actually. And... Uh, uh, from since now, it's been almost 12 years now and uh, doing the almost more than 5,000 surgeries in the orthopedic mm -hmm. field and uh, always I say, associated with uh, various hospitals here in uh, Mumbai and Navi Mumbai. And okay. uh, yes. So cool. I mean, I, I love the way you're balancing your work and, you know, your passion, you know, in, uh, in a similar way. And uh, most importantly, friends, I've also seen a couple of uh, posts or the videos where you have uh, continued your activity where you, you were doing some community services uh, yeah. during this pandemic. And uh, you were also helping you. I mean, you always had these open hands to continue with the surgeries and, you know, attend to emergencies where most of the other doctors and, you know, uh, uh, healthcare workers were scared to operate or come to work. So you continued this without any hesitation, without any uh, this thing. Yes. So that that's really nice of you. So yes, I think uh, 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 like any as a part in uh, part of our medical practice, usually we are associated with a lot of uh, communities, just and we even uh, try to reach to the small villages also in and around the Mumbai and Navi Mumbai, like mm -hmm. uh, Kapoli, Lonawala, Alibag, and a lot of places we visit. I'm like we lot of time we arrange a Sunday uh, Sunday camps and all that. Free health mm -hmm. checkup camps, and uh, we try to help them. And uh, 
uh, we try to provide them the that uh, diagnosis and the treatment as far as possible and both uh, both time uh, jaise uh, aisa hota hai ke uh, kafi patients hmm. uh, tab tak hamare paas uh, nahi pahunch pate hain jab tak jaise uh, jaise knee osteoarthritis hai sandibhat hai jaise to kafi aisi conditions hai ke jo ekdam last stage mein hamare paas aate hain jab conservative treatment jo hai unki to fail ho chuki hoti hai to uh, i feel that ke it's our uh, duty to reach to the maximum people and to share our knowledge to utilize our knowledge for uh, their treatment i feel That, that's really nice uh, because a lot of people think that you know it is only a commercial angle of an, a doctor but you know uh, working for a commercial hospital is different but spare time you know sparing and you know associating with some ngos going to the outskirts or villages where there's limited access of some of these corporate hospitals still giving them the benefit at you know almost no cost or you know at a reasonable rate that that's really commendable but rajesh we we also want to know i mean a lot of people know you as dr rajesh but we want to know stuff behind rajesh so i have some rapid fire questions are, are you all set for that yeah yeah sure cool so the first question what is the highest pressure situation that you have experienced and how did you handle it uh can you come again i just yeah what, what is the highest pressure situation that you've come across okay. and uh, how did you handle it see sometimes uh, like any in a uh, you know especially just say i'll i would like to share that ke the whenever just say people have uh, like any uh, weekend actually saturday sunday so there uh-huh. is the maximum time we get lot of traumas actually especially saturday night we get around 3 4 fractures you know every saturday night so usually just say when we think that ke sunday we want to spend with the family and uh, that day i think we are line up with around four five surgeries maybe in a day sometimes and uh, okay. so yes so uh, and all the orthopedic surgeries uh, may be a trauma may be a joint replacement uh, that usually last for around four five hours so it really actually uh, yes, stressful to work for continuously i'm like for 10 15 hours inside the operation theater and uh, mm-hmm. you know have we start our breakfast there we end our sometimes dinner also there so it's like breakfast lunch dinner everything just we usually yes, we are inside the operation theater many time so that happens maybe around 4 5 days in a month so and plus we'll have to uh, see the patients like opd patients also we'll have to answer to them also so yes sometimes it do become a little stressful yes yeah and why so, why are these accidents very high during the weekend is, is it because of drunk and driving think, uh, like in is saturday sunday is usually people just say uh, in the, all the metro cities and all the cosmopolitan cities crowd usually prefer to go and uh, party outside or maybe you know they have food drinks outside and uh, right. so maybe that might be the reason actually you know uh, with the uh, this so how how do you uh, handle it so we are stressed so just that so you you have like spend like 10 to 12 hours in the hospital so once you come back what do you do to release this yes. particular stress to, to de stress myself i think is the biggest stress stress buster in uh, in the uh, every family i think is the kids actually so i would like to just just play uh, some game with game with my uh, son aryavir and uh, he is such a stress buster i feel and uh, whenever i uh, reach home and he is like uh, papa i am all set for the cricket now and let's play cricket okay. and uh, so you know in spite of that uh, uh, tiring day uh, whenever just i think uh, i meet i'm like uh, my son my family i think uh, you know we forget that tiredness and uh, we try to just uh, play i'm like with the this thing so i feel is the biggest stress person right now and then other than that i think uh, just uh, meeting maybe few friends maybe just for a yeah. uh, in the free time maybe yeah. just and uh, listening to music and uh, maybe traveling if the time permits for one or two days in the nearby places mm. yeah cool so what what is that one thing you're super passionate about uh, i uh, really uh, love traveling and as well as uh, music and uh, singing also uh, okay. so i think uh, because that is the uh, like any singing listening to music are easily available everywhere in the whether, whether we are free time in the hospital whether you know uh, if the time permits in the operation theater so uh, that i really love it because it's easily i'm like we can do it in a day and uh, uh, traveling as i said ke whenever jaise we feel that ke okay it's too much work have, uh, have been done already in this month and less it's time for some break yeah. 
Right. Maybe we, uh, I go for just the nearest places like uh, I like driving also. So maybe mm-hmm. for two three days we just uh, do outing um, like uh, in the nearby places like Lonawala or uh, Mahabaleshwar and uh, I as a group actually we love trekking also sometimes. So wow. there is also uh, part part of our uh, you can say stress buster thing. Yeah, Lonawala is a super place and you know I would love to you know spend more time this time I travel there. So yeah, I would love to trek trek there. Yeah, this is awesome. a perfect time, a perfect climate actually to come to, uh, you know, Mumbai and the, like, a lot of hill stations are there. Uh, it's like heaven right now. But, you know, because of this pandemic and because of this uh, lockdown, actually a lot of people might miss uh, enjoying this year's monsoon actually here in Mumbai and Maharashtra. True, I agree. So how many phones have you broken or lost till date? How many? Phones have you broken or lost Till date. Uh, actually, I uh, uh, can you just say a little bit? Actually, I really uh, the sound yeah, is not audible. Sure. How many phones have you broken or lost till date? Broken. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think uh, as a uh, uh, you know orthopedic surgeon, I feel uh, it's just we just just uh, you know. Uh, Treat. I'm like all this uh, kind of just fractures, but uh, mm. not uh, this. Okay, so you've not broken any phones. <laughs> no, no, I think no. <laughs> okay, so how many have you lost? How many phones have you used till now? I mean, from your first phone till date, how many phones have you changed? How frequently phones? you change phones? Mobile phones. Mobile phones you're talking about. Oh, okay. 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 That's right. Okay, mobile phones. Okay. Uh, no, I'm, I, I'm like usually just say, uh, usually whenever I buy this in mobile phones, I'm like usually I use it for one or two years. I'm not that uh, uh, to buy yeah. new mobile phones. Yeah. yeah, because some people are like, there is a new model, okay, I want it. So they use it only for a couple of months and then they oh. replace it. I have tried that actually, but 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 I have tried that actually, so I have tried that actually, so I have tried that I cannot, I'm like, in spite of buying that for me, I cannot use that, so I have, you know, deleted that hobby from my list. <laughs> Somebody else is using it all the time. So what's what's your favorite uh, band and album and song? Okay, uh, see in uh, uh, you can say I like all kind of basically just say, uh, Hindi songs and the English songs as well. In English, I like my favorite is Brian Adams actually, and right. uh, I like few more few more bands actually. In our time, you know, just say a uh, lot of. Uh, uh, people were there, as I say, we used to make a good music actually. And I really uh, like any Backstreet Boys were there in our time, mm-hmm. the Brian Adams yeah. were there, and a uh, lot of other people were there. As I, say. I still uh, like to listen to that music actually. And uh, maybe yeah, all Hindi songs, so I uh, like uh, usually like any love songs, any uh, songs I make which is uh, soothing actually to listen. So, yes. Okay. What is the most unusual place you have fallen asleep? I think I would say uh, operation theater actually, uh, you can say so. In the doctor's lounge actually sometimes, you know, in between the surgery, when uh, what happens is when we finish the one surgery, then mm-hmm. uh, it, uh, it we start at around 9 a.m. in the morning and yeah. uh, we finish by around 2, 2.30. And uh, usually... Uh, day before night also we were like you know uh, handling the emergencies also sometimes uh, 2 a.m. in the night uh, 3 a.m. in the night so something like that so you know again we get around sleep to four five hours not more than that so in the morning we start surgery at 9 a.m. and uh, you know in between the two surgeries shifting the patient again uh, back to back from operation data to the recovery room and again shifting the next patient from ward to the operation data. there is a gap of around 45 minutes to one hour in that we finish our lunch, maybe we can uh, okay, sleep for maybe 30, 35 minutes and uh, by the time we give the anesthesia to the next patient or maybe sometimes we need to uh, 
prepare also for the surgery so then sometimes we but there is the most unusual place where i have i think uh, but trust me it's uh, like any wahan pa jo neend aati hai aur ya to wahan pa jo neend aa sakti hai wo kahin par nahi aa sakti it's so <laughs> Yeah. because you you're tired i mean you're so tired that you know that half an hour nap itself is like uh, so quality true so what's the most unusual uh, but fun experience you had fun experience uh, i would say uh, like uh, it was my uh, birthday on uh, 2018 actually 13 march 2018 and okay. uh, i was i was uh, in malaysia and uh, i was about to travel to indonesia bali and mm-hmm. uh, you know there was some i don't know some weird rule in malaysia that ke you need exit visa also if you are traveling away from malaysia okay. or if you are trying uh, outside malaysia you require visa visa for that also uh, oh. so my uh, tourist agent has uh, given the visa to enter into the indonesia but he has not given the visa to fly out of the malaysia so if you want to fly out of the malaysia you can travel to three countries thailand again come back to india or dubai so uh, my everything was scheduled like we were we were taking the boarding pass we were ready to enter into this thing and suddenly just say you know we have taken out of the this thing is the so you are not allowed to travel up back to indonesia and i was shocked and uh, so that birthday i remember why because then on the same day i was traveling to three countries actually from mm-hmm. malaysia to i had to travel to thailand and from thailand to i had to travel to indonesia so in the morning i was in malaysia in the afternoon i was in the evening i was in thailand in the night i was in indonesia so that was the most uh, fun experience actually i feel and uh, very different actually you know whole world i was traveling to three countries i mean there was uh, something which i never expected actually to do it in a day and i never wanted to do that again also i feel yeah it yeah it was uh, very tiring yeah of course yeah so, so what what were you really into uh, when you were younger but uh, you you think it's silly okay uh, i think in our time uh, we were not uh, having that uh, technologies and uh, mobile phones laptops mm-hmm. yeah. ipads all that lot of things so we usually used to uh, do uh, like any uh, spend our time mostly on the Uh, you can say outdoor games actually so mm. uh, like i am from jamnagar actually gujarat and uh, it's a very small district and uh, so usually we used to do uh, you can say kite flying and uh, we used to maybe do uh, a lot of sports something like, which is maybe just a uh, today's kids might not be aware also uh, about the sports so we used to play such sports actually and uh, we lost you doctor doctor rajesh from there actually you know studying studying and studying whole uh almost time yeah we lost you for a bit so sorry yeah so uh ha to ye aadat jo thi jaise neend kam karne ki to wo tabhi se aayi hai jaise 10 plus 2 se yani ke uh, way back in 2000 jaise when we used to study in uh, 12 science we used hmm. to study for almost uh, 18 hours then you know again joining to mbbs again just it's like studying for more than 15 hours 12 hours i'm like a day and plus we need to just say uh, keep ourselves updated with a lot of knowledge now as a surgeon also so we even i do keep reading right now also for almost 3 uh, 4 hours now other than doing the op- and in the opd emergency and the surgeries that that takes a lot of efforts you know mereko itna nahi malum tha ki you know so much of reading doctors have to do in healthcare industry so what what's your fa- uh, favorite family tradition favorite family tradition family tradition okay i'm like uh, uh, see being a gujarati i think uh, as you are aware i'm like we all are very passionate about uh, uh, all the gujarati festivals like uh, you can say dandiya is there then uh, yeah. kite flying is there and uh, a lot of things actually uh, uh, 
uh, which we do i'm like uh, we love to play with the colors in the holi also so mm. all the like festivals actually uh, we have uh, enjoyed more actually uh, than the today's generation i feel and uh, nowadays they say uh, uh, family has become nuclear actually nowadays you know and uh, mm. lot of people just are not uh, maybe taking participate in lot of things uh, uh, with that uh, you know open uh, time in the patient actually i think which we used to do it maybe 10 years back 15 years back 20 years back yeah so i love the tradition especially you know i think dandia is pretty famous and the way everybody gathers i think dandia in gujarat and uh, you know uh, we talk about dasra you have uh, you know people from bengal in the way uh, these celebrations have made a lot of impact i think across india it's just not for that particular state or culture so i think it's across and har jagah that i think it's it's almost a weeks even one week of back to back action and you know yeah, events it's, it's, a, it's a complete madness in gujarat actually when you when you go to andabad surat or rajkot or somewhere you know it's a complete madness actually uh, like it's the biggest festival there actually. true yes and lot of stories are there i'm like you know uh, uh, there's a lot of stories so what is, what is that yeah, weird that, weird thing that, that has happened in some of any of these events uh, like any many time you know nowadays so there are a lot of restriction of time and the music and all that you know uh, we we'll mm-hmm. have to uh, close the thing by maybe 11:30 12 but right. uh, uh, i'm talking about maybe way back in uh, 2007 8 9 Uh, during that time uh, i remember they said we have uh, taken participants in such uh, places we used to we used to uh, play dandias like till 6 am also and uh, you know uh, people are waiting for the breakfast then it's like that and uh, when we go home i'm like people are coming out for the jogging and all that and for the morning walk so there is something uh, you know which we have missed in uh, here in maharashtra i think yeah i think we should you know change some rules like you know within the city where it's disturbing for others we can you know have still that have that cut off of 10 11 30 12 uh, right. but you know in the outskirts if it's like remote locations and all that i think you know we should be allowed to play till i mean there shouldn't yes. be any restriction because you know there will be hardly anybody uh, so you know we, uh, we have, what has happened actually in last maybe 15 20 years uh, mm-hmm. as you say a uh, lot of uh, like uh, uh, buildings and a lot of big apartments have came the uh, all the metros and all the cities actually so in our time uh, like 15 years back 12 years back 18 years back uh, we used to have a lot of open spaces and uh, uh, there was no like concrete jungle kind of things as which we can see nowadays so uh, why these rules came is because uh, uh, everywhere you can see is residential buildings residential areas and all that and uh, people do get affected with a uh, uh, noise maybe or uh, a lot of traffic and all that so uh, there is there are there is no place actually maybe many times they say to have this and uh, in our time it was possible i feel and uh, now the priorities have changed and a uh, lot of people do get disturbed with that thing maybe uh, loud voice some like during whole night and uh, yeah so yes it's a evolution actually which is happening and uh, yeah but as uh, bavisha mentions fight kai flying is still you know the best that that's what uh, she is commented yes. yes yes i uh, always yes. like miss i especially just say go to amdavad i'm like especially for the kite flying day and uh, yes i'm like i always 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 i'm like uh, loud that thing and a uh, lot of my friends are there so they always invite me that rajesh no surgeries no uh, orthopedics for next 3 4 days you are here and uh, we are uh, having fun together and uh, let's do something crazy which we used to do always i'm like so yeah. lot of my school friends lot of my uh, childhood friends i'm like do miss me today also they keep sending me pictures and all that mm. uh, so i think yes uh, in uh, becoming a doctor i think a uh, lot of things actually we doctors not only me actually uh, we lot of mm. doctors do sacrifice and uh, yes. yes so we are uh, you can say uh limited with lot of uh, less hobbies and lot of less uh, stress buster in our life because of the you can say busy schedule and uh, lot of the things yeah so uh, so nice of you uh, babisha is mentioning that uh, you had arranged garba dance for patients who had knee surgeries yes. so this, yes. this is a really nice thanks thanks babisha for uh, you know putting this up because uh, some things uh, we don't know until others uh, 
say you know because generally people don't yes, yes, uh, like you know about, uh, like for my lot of lot of my knee replacement patient uh, you know usually they recover i'm like in 2 to 3 months time and uh, nowadays so with the uh, you can say latest technology we use uh, very just a uh, bone conservative technique and a uh, lot of new technique like uh, uh, computerized navigation system is there so yeah. with that uh, and the lot of advancement of the treatment uh, nowadays patients recover is very fast so usually whenever just i feel by 50 or 100 patients as usually be uh, i keep arranging some events for them like uh, maybe a dandiya maybe a, uh, some kind of walk or something or maybe some kind of get together just in some malls actually where we uh, do lot of activities for, for them and uh, so i think that encourage them and uh, they feel that uh, they are they are uh, they can also enjoy the same thing which uh, patients which are enjoying just say maybe uh, without the knee osteoarthritis or without the knee problem so just to encourage them i think just we feel uh, uh, it's essential to encourage them uh, especially the old age people and uh, mm-hmm. so i think yeah we you know this show is the best example where we have showcased age is just a number and uh, yeah your service of you know getting creating an event for people who could not walk properly and uh, for people who think that okay my age has come where you know my uh, legs are not supporting anymore you you basically bringing life to them so that that's really nice yes i think uh, uh... like as a doctor and as a surgeon i feel uh, you know uh, many time we discuss that ke what is the best feeling in the world and mm. uh, then we uh, then we talk about uh, love and all that right that there is the best feeling actually to fall in love but i think more than that i feel that ke whenever we feel uh, jab bhi uh, like patients ke chehre pe jo wo smile aur khushi nazar aati hai uh, jab wo jaise 3 months down 4 months down uske fracture se heal ho jate hain and they are back to work they are back to office they are back to uh driving and all that and uh, back to life so jo khushi unke chehre par dekhne ko milti hai i think usse zyada satisfactory satisfactory cheez ek surgeon ke liye aur ek doctor doctor ke liye kuch nahi hoti jaisa i think yes so there is the best feeling in the world i feel cool see your patients happy i agree with you and you know that's priceless so you cannot put a price for it uh what activity instantly calms you gusa aata hoga but what what generally gets you calm up immediately okay uh, i think uh, uh, what you can say uh, maybe i feel that ke if i am uh, angry or something i think i should keep myself busy in, with the patients maybe and uh, uh, i think there is the best way and uh, other than that i like to drive actually so then i just uh, uh you know take my car and uh, play some good music good tracks and just go for a driving maybe alone i'm like for 25 30 minutes if, uh, if my schedule allows me what is the best compliment you've received till date rajesh best compliment uh like uh, you know always my patient praise me actually uh, for uh, uh i'm always just say uh, making them comfortable actually while talking to me maybe just say uh, i'm i'm making myself available to them uh, mm-hmm. always on the phone and the uh, you know whenever just they uh, need me so i think uh, they always uh, uh, you know uh, tell tells me mr dependable like we can say depend on you just say in spite of uh, you know a lot of time what happens is say post surgery uh, surgeons are busy they are not able to uh connect with the patient but i make sure that you know i uh, i'm i even be in touch with my uh, patients even after the surgery three months down four months down six months down either through the social media maybe facebook maybe whatsapp and uh, i keep i'm like uh, updating my work and uh, updating our events actually to them so that way actually, actually they i feel that you know uh, so that, that is the biggest compliment i get got from a lot of patients that sir we can depend on you actually for uh, our our health actually in the future also so how many compliments have you received during your college life you look smart you are handsome for sure college mein khali padhai to nahi kiye honge so how many compliments and how many proposals during your school days and college days uh yes i think it's a part and parcel of uh, everybody's life actually you know that uh, uh, you can say main ye nahi bolunga ki main uh, uh, 
ये था बट यस यू कैन से सो द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स इन द कॉलेज इज मोस्टली जैसे यू नो दैट दैट वाज देयर वाज आल्सो इवन फेज एक्चुअली नो एंड सो यस कुछ कुछ कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स रहते हैं ऐसे बट आई थिंक दिस इज नॉट द प्लेटफॉर्म टू शेयर आई गेस आई थिंक मेबी आई विल इनबॉक्स यू दैट we will sit for a beer and then you know yes. we'll i think you have to meet me then for that yeah but you know when do when did people recognize you you know for example for me you know people uh, i think uh, you know till till my 10th or uh, college days you know uh, nobody gave bhav to me honestly but when you know uh, there was a complete transformation when i started my work life okay yeah so every person i believe has certain phase after that there is a lot of transformation where where you know uh, your looks and everything change uh, right. it is not the same person in your childhood so what was that stage when you you started looking better you started you know the way you carried yourself and you know uh, people started admiring you and all that when, when was that bachpan se tha or you know was that a specific stage when you that happened no ravi i think uh, you know uh, mumbai sab kuch sikha deti hai yaar actually mumbai is a city of dreams to ye ek samandar hai yahan par sirf aapko kudna hai baki to mumbai sab kuch sikha degi yaar aapko so i don't think so actually uh, you need any turning point in your turning point in your life actually bas uh, okay. i think uh, it's all about uh, uh, then orthopedics work and everything and uh, which can just just uh keep on showing you the new new ways actually to uh this so you know i think uh the competition is only with uh, i think ourselves to improve ourselves in the our field in the field of orthopedics in the field of uh uh, uh, uh medicine uh so i always try to improve myself like in our field uh, in mm-hmm. orthopedics like you know if uh, uh, i i can do better actually in maybe just in uh, 2020 compared to 2019 so yes year by year i think we need to assess ourselves and uh, we need to see where we stand in life and uh, where we stand in our orthopedic field and uh, uh, how many patients we have treated how many patients are happy with us how many patients uh, have got satisfied with our treatment and the surgery and uh, uh, sometimes yes uh, like any we are also human being we are not a god actually and uh, we also uh, have uh, our part of failure and uh, uh, mm. we also have our uh, Uh, you can say uh, many times you say as a surgeon we sometimes feel helpless also in many surgeries like you know okay we cannot like due to the irreversible damage which already happened to the patient so uh, yes so we keep on uh, upgrading ourselves uh, our knowledge our surgical skills and uh, we try to uh, give justice to our uh, field I'm like uh, and uh, try to make patients better and uh, try to improve their life actually So, what what is that favorite movie of yours which make you laugh? So I'm sure you you watch the movie. So, what kind of movie is? Actually, so many are actually. Uh, you know, uh, I like to watch movies also. So, uh, mm-hmm. yes, you can say there are a lot of movies. But my uh, favorite is you can say uh, Three Idiots actually that I really love it. Uh, okay, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, I love a couple of more movies actually, uh, which is more uh, like uh, you know on a lighter side like. Uh, Uh, Munna Bhai series actually, Munna Bhai and BBS and all that. So okay. that is good actually. I mean, a few uh, movies which are related to the medical field. So uh, yes, lot of movies actually, but also humorous. Yeah. So we we have Babisha who is actually asking. Uh, all friends want you to sing a song. Oh my God! Okay. Uh, <laughs> or I think so it will be an honor. It will be an honor if you can. थोड़ा yes, yes, I think uh, you know uh, in today's time, uh, like any due to lockdown and uh, due to this COVID pandemic, uh, I think uh, people have a lot of people have uh, uh, become uh, you know less hopeful about this situation right now. So uh, there is a lot of uh, hopelessness, you can say, or maybe less hope towards the you know that ke how this year will go. So uh, I think. सब अच्छा हो जाएगा मुझे लगता है कुछ दिनों में और उसके लिए जैसे मैं एक मे बी टू थ्री लाइन आई कैन सिंग फॉर यू नो दैट दिंग एंड इट इज फ्रॉम वन ऑफ द वेरी गुड सॉन्ग विच वी यूज टू सिंग इन चाइल्ड हुड एक्चुअली एंड सॉन्ग इज हम होंगे कामयाब हम होंगे कामयाब 
हम होंगे कामयाब एक दिन हो हो मन में है विश्वास पूरा है विश्वास हम होंगे कामयाब एक दिन सो आई थिंक दिस अ सॉन्ग एक्चुअली आई फील इज डेफिनेटली विल कम आउट ऑफ दिस डिफिकल्ट पेस एंड आई थिंक definitely uh, india will be back again with the uh, how we used to celebrate everything and uh, soon life will be back cool so uh, we have a question thank thank you for that awesome song and you know this is very apt so uh, takshil uh, is actually asking uh, study hard to enter into orthopedic so how to study hard to enter into orthopedic that's his question it's scary to actually remember that those those time actually <laughs> so it's is the most scariest question in the uh, you know uh, you know to remember those days actually when we used to study 15 hours 18 hours a day so uh, i think nothing there is no shortcut actually and uh, we just need to study and uh, sometimes uh, 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 you know maybe clicking that time and uh, taking that opportunity sometimes also uh, so you have to be present at the right time at the right place so there is very important in the life i feel and uh, you have to be very uh, strong minded actually you know to come into the medical field and uh, becoming a surgeon i feel and uh, handling all these things but i think uh, you know uh, nowadays because of a uh, lot of new uh, you can say institutes are coming up and uh, in our time there were le- very less few seats actually but now i think uh, uh that is uh, that is becoming more just now the coaching classes are also there and uh, yeah. so yes, i'm sure that they are there to guide uh, the students actually of today's generation so uh, have you you would have seen uh, kabir singh so what what is the favorite part i mean we make some bit which you know you really like the way it was pictureized yeah i think uh, ravi it's a it's a fantastic movie actually but uh, with a uh, little bit of dark side of the orthopedic surgeon in that movie i feel and uh, mm-hmm. like any uh, you know that uh, the main, uh, main character of that movie was uh, uh, orthopedic surgeon and uh, you know it has shown the dark darker side of the doctors and the surgeon's life i feel and uh, okay but i think what uh, uh, i uh, like about that movie is uh, you know from that movie also you can take some something positive is that ke uh, uh, nothing is uh, you can say uh, permanent in the life and nothing is like in whether it's a good phase whether it's a bad phase whether it's a you know situation set situations whether it's a uh, happy moments i'm like any this keep this part and parcel of the life actually of the doctors of the surgeons and uh, i think how we tackle and how we come out of that phase i think is more important actually so in that movie i think that uh, has showcased very nicely that yeah. how we again came back to life and uh, how we uh, you know uh, uh, handle everything i'm like in the second half of the movie so yeah yes yeah so that that's basically from uh, you know uh, you know telugu and uh, sandeep bangla is basically that's the initiative uh, here yeah. and you know before the movie released there was so much of uh, you know uh, speculation so there was so much of uh, drama which went on uh, before it got released but people after seeing the movie realized that yeah it is a message it is you know not more of drug addiction and all that but it's a message that you know what what you were uh, giving here right so aapne kabhi aise haath pe likha hai kisi ke upar i mean have you you know taught somebody <laughs> no no i have not done that okay yeah. good i mean Thank i can you. write it on bone. i can write it on the bone actually you can write it on the bone wow <laughs> yeah, while operating <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes sir we had a doodle artist you know uh, there's a guest who is uh, in, you know inculcating the passion of doodle so yeah maybe that's the passion of writing on the bone you should try that <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice one yeah yeah so thanks a lot for the rapid fire question so now coming to the main question so uh, when you become the chief minister uh, so what are the areas you would focus on first of all i never wanted to be a chief minister actually i am uh, happy as a dr rajesh vijayani and as a orthopedic surgeon i feel and uh, yes but uh, i think uh, we can do a lot of uh, improvement in the healthcare system maybe and uh, 
you know already we are doing good actually uh, uh, in our country just say healthcare system are improving day by day and uh, i'm really happy with the way things are going but uh, you know sometimes this kind of pandemic and uh, you know in last 3 4 months we have uh, realized actually you know that we uh, can do it uh, we can do it much better actually than the what uh, we were prepared but yes uh, i think improving the infrastructure in the hospital and uh, making the government hospitals maybe just say much more better than the uh, you know what we have right now i think uh, there is the uh, this this situation is the this a perfect example of uh, where we stand in the uh, this thing healthcare system so i think we need to improve on that thing so if given a chance as a cm i think i would like to just say divert my energy there actually for uh, this thing better health and the better uh, everything and like for the people actually for our state super so i think as you said i think you know there should be a chance for all the industry people to take the position for each four years where each person does the best in the industry and so that the next four years you know you focus on another industry and then you know fix all the challenges because you know nobody will nobody else will know the challenges in the industry except for you so valid point so thank you rajesh i mean that that finishes uh, the rapid fire question it's it's go- so nice to know you uh, doctors generally we have uh, a perception saying that okay they're pretty serious uh, khali surgeries karte hain uh, very hard to talk to except for the patients who you know generally interact with you and then though they get a chance to know you that okay dr rajesh is very nice he is counseling and his consulting is really nice so but otherwise the public image who's generally not come across you uh, is like pretty serious personality but nice to know your passion you know please continue uh, singing please continue doing this community service and you know other activities which you are doing out of passion uh, not everybody does that rajesh honestly so we really thank, love that thank you so much thank you so okay. yeah so with that we will end thank this particular you. show uh, thanks for taking time out thank and you. all the best yeah thank you thank you ravi bye Take thank care. you friends thanks for joining in uh, do follow rajesh and do follow his uh, posts uh, i will also share his uh, videos couple of videos where he's singing and all that do follow that every like of yours will encourage uh, people from different professions uh, you know uh, continue with their passion so i'll share the links and do follow him thank you bye guys have a great